Whoops, motherfucking whoop, guys. You already know it's the one and only Miss Juggalette. So, that means that it's Tuesday, but why the hell is Thursday here? I don't know. Uh, what's up, guys? It's Spike here. Uh, as you know, I am with uh, Tuesday, Miss Juggalette. And uh, I'm going to keep my mouth shut so she can do her video. And just chime in with uh, Dr. Spence. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, I need to do that and see what happens later on tonight. Oh, plenty's going to happen later on tonight, honey. Not if you don't keep your mouth shut. You like it when my mouth open. Anyways, guys. So, this week was my topic, and it was, if you were to be considered any genre of music, what would it be and why? And also, how do you feel about the whole um, idea of cancer to society when it comes to, or cancer to music when it comes to a certain genre? Um... You know what? A lot of people are not going to like me because there's a lot of people that always say, I like everything except for uh, country, or I like everything except for rap and country, or something like that. Which is basically this couple. Rap and country. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, I were, if I were to consider myself any genre of music, um, it would have to be country. Um... I've had a lot of problems in my life. I've been through a lot of things. And in my opinion, although hip-hop can be like that too, if it's good underground hip-hop, right. country is the most well-known. And, you know, I'm not even talking about just the patriotic side of it or anything like that. I'm... I love this country, Jesus. No, no, boo, boo. <laughs> Um, It's basically, it's showing true emotion, you know? I mean, it shows real passion and love. I mean, some of the best love songs that are out there are country love songs. Um, some of the most saddest and most realest songs I've ever heard are country songs. Plus, not to mention, I sing a lot of country. And but the thing Amazing. is, thank you. But I, I just think that country is this raw beauty. Um, although I don't necessarily believe that I have that sort of beauty. I don't necessarily believe that I have the beauty of what country is. I do. I love just what it stands for and what it is. Um, and what were you saying earlier? About? How, why you see me as country. Oh, uh, yeah. I said why I saw her as country was because, you know, a lot of times what country does is, um, like, country is, is about life, essentially. And, and, and what it is is it's, it's, it's really about putting meaning in some of the most mundane day-to-day -day stuff. But what it, it really is about a simple life, um, I guess, working hard. Um, but also what it's about is, is the struggles, you know, people talk about, it's, it's, I think it's a different sort of struggle than you usually see in, like, I mean, you do see it in hip-hop, but it's, it's differently portrayed, um, I find, because in country, what it really, what it really talks about it, is a lot of the songs show, um, the real struggles going through life, not knowing what you're gonna do not knowing where you're going to go go next. And it doesn't just show the struggles like some forms of music might. It almost shows the beauty of that struggles and pushing through the struggles. And if there's anyone that I know that, that truly exemplifies the beauty of going through so many struggles and yet still standing so strong, still being such a strong and amazing person and taking all that that's in their lives and, and, and using it for good, just like is often shown in the country, is, is being so strong and being able to get past so much and having it and just the beauty of all of that, it is my heaven. And so, you know, that's why I really think that, you know, because sometimes she can, just, she can take such joy in some of the simplest things in life and some of the smallest things just like a lot of country songs are about but with everything that she's been through you know i i just really and just how 
wonderful person she is all together. I just think that, um, yeah, country works great as her genre. Yes, I do listen to country song, guys. I know, shocker. But, yeah. <laughs> um, but, thank you, babe. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but anyways, for the next part, um, it is the, how do you feel about somebody saying that it is a music genre isn't, is something horrible. Now, this can go all the way back to even when Mozart, because a lot of times, a lot of people would say that Mozart's work was way too modern, and it was something that a lot of people didn't understand, and it was too new, and it was too fresh, and it was too hip. I mean, it's considered what hip-hop is today to music. Right. A lot of people don't necessarily like it, or didn't necessarily like it back in that era, because they made, because they felt like they were, like, tainting what music actually was. I mean, if we're going to say that any sort of music is a cancer to society, then we shouldn't say be saying anything. We should be saying that about every single genre of music except for classical music. And and Mozart is is in their eyes a cancer to society, like and that's considered classical music now. Exactly. So, I mean, what can we say? Like, I mean, the the Native American drum rituals, is that the only music that's I mean, I, I would be okay with that, but I mean, I don't know how many of <laughs> other people would be. So, basically what I'm saying is if you think that horrorcore is a is something that's horrible to the society of music, you can might as well just say that rap is, or hip-hop, or rock even. I mean, when Elvis was, when, was El when Elvis was breaking through with the whole rock thing, I mean, everybody that was used to country, like Hank Williams, Hank Williams Jr., you know, Patsy Cline, you know, all these original country. When Elvis started going onto the scene, everybody was against it at first until, oh, of course, you know, the, the women, the girls that wanted to be the rebels would listen to him or they thought he was attractive and wanted to sleep with them, things like that. You know, even though all his music was basically stolen from black people who wrote it first. Well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, he originally wanted to take a song from Dolly Parton. You remember the song "I Will Always Love You"? That's an original song by Dolly Parton, and he originally wanted to take that song from her. Oh. So yeah, um, some of this, some of the creators of these amazing musics that we listen to today are always being taken off of something else. I mean, country is related to classical music. You can't, you couldn't have never have had country music without classical music. You could have never had rock without country. You could have never had horrorcore without, um, you know, metal. You could have never had metal without rock. You could have never had rock without country. It, it all stems together. Right. So, basically, if you're going to say one, you might as well say the rest of them. But... I don't know. I just don't necessarily see any difference. Music is music, and you know what? Each genre of music and each song portrays something that is amazingly beautiful, and everybody sees something in their own certain way. Something that may be absolutely gorgeous and have the most amazing um, beliefs in it may not be the same to somebody else. Somebody who may think that a song from Five Finger Death Punch is absolutely gorgeous and beautiful and has this amazing amazing symbolism behind it but somebody who likes let's say patsy klein which is a very old country singer wouldn't think that they would just see it as the screaming and whatever and swearing right so yeah i mean is that closed minded or is it just preference i mean is it like what i mean sometimes to make sure you know we we, we are able to open ourselves up and sometimes it's just a matter of you know of preference or just the way we see the world, um, but yeah, no, I, I agree with you. I'll try not to talk too much because you know, save that for Thursday. But, yeah. yeah, well, but yeah, guys. So I'm gonna get going. I want to make some cookies. So. I'm gonna eat her cookies. Yeah. So. Quiet. Cute boys should be seen and not heard. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna get going. Much motherfucking wicked con love. And don't forget to always keep it wicked. Say something. No, that's not what I was gonna have you say. <laughs>
See you later. Guys.